Hi, Mike Piper again. I'm going to give you the sixth installment. It's going to be relatively short. I just want to show you how I blended the scenery in in the uh, far corner down here. Um, just trying to keep you up to date and hope you enjoy. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you some shots of uh, how the uh, Unitrack ballast looks uh, when it's applied to the center of the, of the Unitrack. You can see the three yard tracks here on the right hand side. They have the ballast installed but they have not been overcoated with a, a light mist of grimy black. The two mainline tracks on the left on the other hand have been and the rails were painted with a rail uh, tie brown um, flow quill paint pen uh, run along the side of the rail. Then it was lightly coated on the top uh, with grimy black. I'm going to try and pan in here on, on it so you can maybe get a better idea of how it looks. Um. I'll give you a couple more shots of that in a minute. Uh, in the back, back there, is where I added the mesa that was on the original layout. Um, I have gotten the plaster that you saw in the last video blended in. Uh, it still needs uh, quite a bit of foliage, but you can see that it's blending in and blending into the backdrop nicely. And I only have half of the uh, arroyo going underneath this bridge done. Um, I'm going to try and give you a shot here in a second of uh, exactly how the track looks without weathering and with weathering. Here's another shot of uh, just laid track with no painting or weathering and I'm going to transition right into the painted and weathered and you can see the Unitrack ballast inserted in between. and heading off to the bridge. And that's it for uh, today's installment. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Um, like I said, just a short update. Thank you very much for watching.